Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another Magic Arena Explorer video. So today we, uh, after a very scientific poll that I put up on my YouTube channel, we are playing the second uh, deck post Shadows Over Innistrad Remastered, and that is Tima Aetherworks Marvel playing Emrakul the Promised End. Um, so essentially the idea of this deck... Um, and you will have seen this if you were following uh, Standard at that particular time. Um, so you have Aetherworks Marvel, which is a legendary artifact that says uh, whenever a permanent you control is put into the graveyard, you gain an energy counter. But crucially, you can pay six energy counters to look at the top six cards of your library. You may cast from among them without pet. You may cast a spell from among them without paying its mana cost. And so crucially, the idea in this deck is that we uh, we get to six energy, play cards like Attune with Ether, Harness Lightning. Wyler Virtua, so Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot, and Rogue Refiner, all of which are cards which uh, add energy as well as having other effects. Um, and then you activate the Aetherworks Marvel, and then you fetch two either one of our big payoffs. So we are playing the new card from Shadows of Innistrad, which is Emrakul, the Promised End. So that is a 13-13 that would normally cost you 13 mana, um, and it, but it costs one less to cast for each card type among great cards in your graveyard. That's That bit's not really relevant to this deck, but it also says when you cast this spell, crucially, um, so way the works Marvel allows you to do this, which simply reanimating it would not have the same effect. When you cast this spell, you gain control of target opponent during that player's next turn after that turn, that player takes an extra turn, flying, trample, protection from instance. So essentially, you play your opponent's next turn as, turn as though you were them, and you make all the decisions that they can make. Um, the only thing is you can't concede for them, obviously, but uh, you essentially just uh, play in a way that uh, is most damaging to them. So you use their removal spells against their own creatures, you play cards which are uh, suboptimally, you attack into your Emrakul with their, with their creatures, and then they get an extra turn to essentially try and repair the damage that you've done. Uh, very often your opponents will not be able to, and they will simply concede at the site of Emrakul, but uh, it is incredibly fun on the occasion that you do actually get to play through an opponent's turn for them um, and just, just see how much, quite how much damage you can do to their game plan. And then our other payoff is Ugin the Spirit Dragon, which many people have seen before, which is an 8-mana Planeswalker with 7 loyalty. Um, it's plus 2, deals 3 damage to any target. It's minus X, exiles each permanent with mana value X or less. That's one or more colours, so essentially a mass board wipe. And then it has an ultimate as well, which is uh, basically minus 10, win the game. Um... And then the rest of the deck, um, as well as our kind of various energy spells, so we have a ramp one, one that does damage, one that gains life, and then a couple of creatures as well. We also have four copies of Fable of the Mirror Breaker as a good uh, a good kind of mid-range card. So you play that, you get a you get a two-two. You can then filter the cards that you need to uh, to look for the for the pieces of the combo. And you also get the reflection of Kikijiki, which can be very handy. And then four copies of Prosperous Innkeeper, which helps ramp you and also just gain a little bit of life to make sure that you're not falling too far behind your opponent. And then the rest of the main deck is simply four copies of Khan the Great Creator, um, which uh, people will know from Mono Green, and that I'm not a big fan of this card. But, you know, if you can't beat him, join him and all that. So we are playing four copies of Khan the Great Creator, which allows us to play a wish board um, for for uh in the sideboard with artifacts um, and then you have our mana bases you'd expect lots of jewel lands and then cryptic caves as a bit of a utility land as well you can peruse that um, as you want so yes khan allows us to play 10 artifacts in the sideboard so you may have been wondering so if either works marvel is so crucial to the deck why are you only playing three copies instead of four well it's because the fourth copy is in our sideboard and uh, we can fetch it up with khan so this essentially becomes either works marvel copy four five six and seven in the main deck um and so in the sideboard we have a combination of actual sideboard cards which is just five cards so we have three mystical disputes to bring in against control decks or other decks that might try and disrupt our combos with counter spells and then two copies of brotherhood's end for quick and creature based decks um, and then the rest of the sideboard is the wish board so we have a tall mod script as uh as uh, graveyard hate uh, pithing needle which can shut down opponents planeswalkers or problematic cards damping sphere against uh, nykthos and other problematic lands two copies of the stone brain which is very good against combo like creativity um, unlicensed terse also as graveyard hate our fourth copy of Aetherworks. works sky sovereign as a kind of general catch-all uh, big vehicle that can take out opponent's creatures gold pharaoh statue for those games which are going long and can make your opponent uh uh just uh just kind of tax them out of the game and then 
portal to Phyrexia as kind of the top end. So if we ever need something like that, um, we can just go and fetch it. If the board is stalling or whatever, um, we can go and fetch this nine mana artifact. But generally, um, you're going to fetch either the other A, the works marvel, or if you don't need it, um, maybe the stone brain or one of your graveyard or other combo disruption spells. So that's the deck. Um, I have no expectations for how well this is going to do. Um, it's a bit of, we are playing as a little bit of jank just because Emrakul is so much fun. Um, you know, it uh, it took so much work for the design team to put it into the, the client. Uh, but if you haven't read the article um, where, where one of the design leads talks about uh, the process for doing that, I highly recommend it. It's very interesting. Um, so yeah, we're going to play it. Um, we'll see if we can snag a few games here or there without much expectation. But really, this is just about taking control of our opponent and having a bit of fun. So let's go onto the ladder and see how we go on. So I think some of the sound levels on our Bad Spirits video may have been a bit disrupted. Uh, so I, I think I mentioned on that video, I have a new set of headphones, which hopefully should be a bit more high tech and better quality, but it's taken a bit of uh, fiddling with to uh, to get the levels quite right. So hopefully that's better and you can hear me okay, um, but I will continue to take feedback on that kind of thing, of course. So let me know in the comments. Uh, so our opponent is playing Karuga. Okay, so something a bit different to the usual, um, though it's uh, so yes, it's probably fires of invention. So we probably have a window of opportunity here to do a few things. Um, unfortunately, they're on they're on the uh, the play, which uh, is always a big advantage. But uh, let's see what we can do. Let's play the puzzle knot. So this is one of our best energy generators because it can get give you the six energy you need simply by itself. Um, it's a bit mana intensive to do so, but uh, but it certainly does uh, help you get there. Okay, they have a Fable, sure thing. So I think we shall uh, play a Fable of our own in response. And then saved Harness Lightning, I think, for the flipped reflection because that could be problematic if we don't have an answer for it. Yeah, so we've got Khan, so we can go and fetch Marvel if we need. Um, it's a bit manner intensive to do it that way around, to be honest. Um, uh, no, I will make that trade. I don't want them getting too much treasure. Ooh, Omnath, that's exciting. Okay. So Locus of Creation comes out. Presumably they're just deciding which land to play here. There we are. Ooh, okay, Marvel is interesting. So let's discard our Lair of the Hydra. Okay, so we're going to need the extra energy. So let's play another Wood Weaver's Puzzle Knot. Let's hold up Harness Lightning for their Reflection next turn. And then, depending on what they do, we could potentially Marvel and either find a um, an Ugin or an Emrakul is is ideal. Yeah, I will take my punishment. So presumably they're going to fires here. Okay, they're just going to uh, produce infinite mana with Omnath. Fair enough. Okay, leyline binding, sure. Yep. So it doesn't generally do much at instant speed, this deck, I don't think, because you uh, you tend to just uh, rely on your fires of invention and that doesn't let you do anything at instant speed. So it's good that it's good that we've got the binding out of their hand anyway. 
but they do now have eight mana, so. Okay. Still not the end of the world. Okay, so let's lightning away their reflection just in case we don't hit anything with uh, Marvel. Two. Okay, let's make it happen. A the works Marvel. Fingers crossed. Wow. Okay, that is uh that is sad news. <laughs> okay, let's um So what are we doing here instead? Let's grab a tune with either as we try and build up some more energy. Uh yeah, we'll grab a mountain. Sadness on the stack, but never mind. We uh that allows them to play Karuga, which is annoying, but uh nothing we can do about that. So they're gonna draw several cards. An Ugin would be great here, so let's uh let's hope we can activate Marvel again. Oh, speaking of which, so let's play Rogue Refiner. Uh, just about the worst possible draw. So our opponent's gonna 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 get another turn. So I'm not feeling great about where we are right now, to be honest. That uh, that whiff with Marvel was pretty grim. It can happen though. You just have to kind of roll with that. Okay, Fable is not too bad. I mean, I say it's, it's all pretty bad, let's be honest. Okay, let's block away our Rogue Refiner, then at least we'll have the six energy we need. But I can't imagine they don't have an answer for either works Marvel at this point. Unfortunately, we can activate it at instant speed. So let's. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, that's awful. We've whiffed again. Okay. <laughs> I want it very clearly understood that we do not deserve this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's play Innkeeper, or do we play Fable here? Uh, no, let's play Innkeeper. Let's put Marvel back out. Pass the turn. Trouble is, we're getting to the point now where even M recall is probably not good enough. I'm very sad about it, to be honest, but we'll see what we can do if we can get another activation of um... sure thing. Oh no. Um, is there anything I can do about that? So I can't sacrifice this. Okay, nope. Okay, I'll scoop this one up. That was just uh I feel like we had an opportunity there, but uh two whiffs of on Marvel is um that's pretty rough, let's be honest. So let's pop in Mystical Dispute. Let's take out um 
couple of innkeepers and a harness lightning and uh, try again. Yeah, no, that was just, that was incredibly sad. I feel like an Ugin would have been great there, Emrakul would have been great, but no, two whiffs looking at 12 cards and, and not getting any is, uh, that's pretty rough. So we will try again, which is a shame because we actually um, built up to the combo reasonably well there, but uh, can't be helped. Okay. Okay, there's Marvel, now we just need land. So yes, we've got what we need, but uh, sadness will be getting mana screwed here. Okay, that's not too bad. That does at least allow us to go and fetch a land, even if it's not ideal. So let's fetch an island. Let's play it. Say go to our opponent. They've not had the quickest start either, so hopefully they've been slowed down sufficiently. Fable, sure thing. Okay, let's play a Rogue Refiner. Yeah, clearly I'm getting punished for something I did in a previous life here. Oh, well, we just hope to draw a land next turn. <laughs> Omnath? No, it fires, fires into Omnath, probably. Yep. Okay, we can but hope. Uh, yeah, we'll take that block. Yep, definitely, definitely a, a cruel way to uh, to go out, but uh, nothing can be done about it, sadly. <laughs> so let's play another rogue refiner. Just have to hope they can't do us too much damage. Okay, down comes Karuga, I would imagine. Okay, Kenrith instead. Yep. Okay. And now we simply hope for the best. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, how, that is awful. What is happening? Huh? 
Wow. Oh, oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to go and lie down and think about this one for a while. <sighs> okay, let's get ourselves together and try again. <laughs> oh, oh, that was terrible. So I've done some deep breathing exercises, and uh, now I feel much better about the whole thing. Okay, thought sees it is. So let's go grab an Island. Okay, Grease Fang. I think my deck has pretty much zero game against Grease Fang. So let's uh, let's see how we do with that. We are just going to have to hope that they don't have turn three Grease Fang. Okay, they don't. That's good. And I think they may be mana screwed as well. Okay, let's see what we can do with that instead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. Okay, so they are going to get to, um, well, we're not dead here. So we'll block there, take 13, casual 13. Goes back to hand. Okay. Let's do say a very, very quick prayer. Oh my god, I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna end up hurling. <laughs> okay, that is whiff number four. Let's just uh, move on. Um So I think I'm just going to leave things as they are, because we can just grab Tormod's Crypt with Khan. I mean, is it me? Am I just not playing enough endgame? I, I generally thought Marvel played like six or seven, so it doesn't feel like we're madly out of kilter there. Oh well, if this keeps happening, maybe I'll reassess. But uh, but yeah, it just feels very unlucky to have whiffed like four times in, on on the bounce, and we didn't even have any of the um, big threats in in hand. It's not like we were we were digging through a through a depleted number. No. Oh well. Uh, yep, this sounds pretty good. We've got. Both of, so we could turn three, turn four. Although if we need to, we can hold up harness lightning. Although we're probably about to get thought seized. Yes, we are. So they'll probably take away our puzzle knot. Uh, 
Uh, if at any point we could have prayed for the Thoughtseize bug, would have been then. Play Prosperous Innkeeper. So we've got both Beseju and Harness Lightning as interaction for anything they may try and reanimate. Okay. Okay, so they're playing Traverse the Ovenwald, so... Let's play Lair of the Hydra. Um, so they don't have anything they can reanimate next turn, so let's drop Marvel while we don't need to hold up mana. Sadly, we cannot currently activate it, but uh, hopefully... We will draw some energy enablers. Okay, they're just hard casting chariot, fair enough. Yes, you may do me one. Okay, let's attune with the ether. Grab a mountain. Uh okay, let's uh Get rid of that. Say go to our opponent. So we are potentially in the. Okay, they're not interested. Oh no, I always forget the Witherbloom command it isn't just destroy an artifact. Okay, this gives us the energy we need. Okay. So I'm going to do the biggest of big brain plays. By paying zero. Activating A the works Marvel. <laughs> okay. It's not Emrakul. Okay. Let's pass the turn. Sure thing. Okay. I rather think not. Okay, let's uh, spin up Ugin. Play Puzzle Knot. Sacrifice Puzzle Knot. Well, they don't really have anything that would be worth taking control of, but okay, perhaps it's good that we whiffed this time, so let's uh, drop a Rogue Refiner. 
drop a land, say go. Okay, so they're going to bring back their Grease Fang and get to animate Parhelion. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Let's attack here. Drop another Marvel. Okay, that gives us what we need to activate it again. No, nope, nothing we can do there, so let's just declare sadness on the stack. We'll drop a Woiler Virtuoso, which will at least... Do they have another chariot in the bin? Yes, they do, so we're just dead. Okay, I'm very sad about those first two batches, because I feel like with a bit more luck we could have gotten away with it. But uh, let's try another, and I'm determined to make it work. One way or the other. <laughs> yeah, can't keep a hand with double Ugin. That's better. So let's pop back. I don't think we need Fable here. Is that is that crazy? No, no, we don't need Innkeeper as well, but away. Sort of flash deck, so let's play Puzzle Knot. Ooh, Banned Spirits, maybe. That's exciting. I approve entirely. Uh, let's get a Rogue Refiner online. Sure. Okay, let's attune with the ether. Grab another forest. I'm definitely running into a spell queller here. Oh, yes. I love the card so much, I can't even be mad. I'm slightly mad. Oh, and they've got collected company. Brilliant. I cannot be happier, I'm losing this way. See, I'm slightly miffed that this uh, this uh, video is turning into a total catastrophe because I do feel like this get this. I did well when I was testing this deck, but occasionally, a the works Marvel did actually hit one of my bombs when I was testing it. So yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine.
Right, the chances that this doesn't get countered are about naught, but let's play it anyway. Oh my god, okay. Ugin? Okay, we'll take an Emrakul. Trouble is, there's going to be a limited amount of damage I could do them now as a result of this. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So we get to um, I Ganju, one of their attacking creatures. So that's quite exciting. So let's uh, let's go to combat. Let's attack with Phantom and Queller. Let's use this on their spell, Queller. Play it. Let's block their Supreme Phantom. It does feel very weird passing priority between yourself, I have to say. Then we'll sacrifice this. And pass the turn. Okay, I quite like that. So let's lightning away their Shacklegeist, because that's going to prove problematic from the long term. Uh, yeah. Die, etc. Um, let's discard both of these, I think. Ooh, Khan's good. We can't use it this turn, but we can at least gain life. Sure. Oof, cheeky. All right. I mean, I'm not that far off being able to cast that again, actually, but... Um... So I can potentially actually do it next turn if we draw a lad. Uh, that's fine. So let's play Marvel. Activate Marvel. Grab Ugin. No, okay, they've seen enough. Okay, there we are. We made it happen. We made it happen. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's bring in the mystical disputes here. Take out. Um... What are we taking out? I wonder. A couple of rogue refiners. Maybe a Khan. It's quite vulnerable to counter magic. Yeah. Okay. Let's try it like this. Okay, so so actually, it's it's interesting the lines you see when you um, when you get to play as them with uh, with Emrakul. It's yeah, like the Iganjuing their own creature, sacrificing the selfless spirit for no value. It's just seeing everything that you could do to disrupt their gameplay. Um, because it's not it's all it's not. Because you never you never really have to think like that normally. It's uh, sometimes not so obvious what you need to be doing. Oh wow, that is a terrible opening hand. So is that. Wow. Okay. 
see we're being punished there we had some fun and now the game's like haha no more fun for you so let's pop back a fable and a i think we're gonna have to lose the puzzle knot here because i think uh dispute and fable are gonna have to do a lot of work for us so let's uh let's leave a mystical dispute open at all times now let's attune with the ether grab mountain say go Yeah, we'll mystical dispute that. Hmm, tasty. Feels good. Okay, let's play Mountain. Let's play Fable. Tosky? Say what? Who's playing that in Bad Spirits? Absolute, absolute radical. Okay, let's just go ham. Do I like this? I don't think I like it. I'm not sure I like it. Do we like this? Let me know in the comments. Do we like this? I don't like it. I've decided I don't like it. Don't talk to me about it. I don't like it. Oh, well, that gives us something to do next turn, I suppose. Yes, 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 yes. More, more, more. No, not company. Oh, for God's sake. Um. Oh, well. Sure. I was going to say, if you Coco before blockers, that's insane. But uh, don't good game me. Okay, you can good game me. Fair enough. That's why you can good game me. Well, their sideboard was bonkers. I kind of like it. Whatever, whatever it was they were doing. Okay, we're on the play, so now we're just going full make the combo happen and uh, Brotherhood's End if we need it.
<laughs> oh well, we're gonna have enough energy we need and land. Okay, let's play another tune. Grab a mountain. Hold up dispute. Um, okay, let's play puzzle knot. And we've got all the energy we need. And there's Emrakul being annoying in the wrong place. Yeah, sure, I don't really care. You again. Marvel, Marvel. Close enough to Marvel. What are you doing here? Go away. Okay, land is great here. So let's try. What are you doing to me, Auto Tapper? Honestly. Hope for the best. Here we go. Please don't ever talk to me again. All right. We're still in it. We're not still in it. <laughs> I'm sorry to whichever god I offended today. <sighs> After you. Sure. I mean, I say sure. It's, it's terrible news all round, but you do what you can. Okay, let's discard here and here. 
Uh, we can't quite make Ugin happen, so let's just play another Fable. Sure, have all the cards you need. Um, well, either this works or I'm dead, so um, there's very little point to... Uh, huh. If we had one more land, I'd feel a lot better, but... There's no way in hell this resolves, but... Oh my god, it resolved. I assume they're just good a company, but I don't care. I resolved an Ugin. <laughs> well, again? I'm, uh... I'm going home. That was awful. That was awful. Everything about that was awful. I hate it. So there's Marvel for you. That was not the best showing I've ever had, which is really annoying because it did quite well in deck testing. But, you know, that's the lucky run. We were... I mean... I'll have to check other lists as to whether we need more top end and finishes than this, but we were stupendously unlucky with our Marvel triggers. Um, just, just yeah, missing almost every single time. Um, you know, it was either the card we drew the turn we activated it, or the one after the six. So, so yeah, I think um, probably a combination of deck needs a bit of refining and just horrendous bad luck there. So, but it is what it is. I had no, no, I didn't have fun. I definitely didn't have fun, but it was interesting. Nothing if not interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm going to go and lie down, and I hope that to make up for it, you can subscribe to my channel. There, how about that? that if you want to, if you want to cheer me up, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments. The funniest, uh, funniest bit of this hilarious video. I mean, I was laughing all the way through, can't you tell? And uh, and yeah, I will see you for the next one, where hopefully I will have regained what little remains of my sanity. Thank you very much.